When my dad died, we were all in shock. It was very sudden and there was no planning. And so we had to guess at what he wanted and decisions were made based on emotion. I think that sometimes it's just something that the average person doesn't think about. My mother and I had never had the conversation as far as what her wishes were, as far as if she had made arrangements for payment in advance. The answer was no, she hadn't. And so on one of the worst days of my life, I was out getting a loan to pay for her funeral. When, when you're under stress like that, um, there's almost no such thing as a small deal. Um, and small things become, become big. And it just was more practical and more loving to be able to let me know just exactly what she wanted done. What made her happy was that she knew that we wouldn't have to worry about it. It was a burden that she took away from us. And you know, a death in the family can certainly bring out the best in people. It, it, it could bring out the worst, and it, and it can do both on the same day. If there um, are any issues between family members, death and dying does not bring out the best dynamics. It's so easy for brothers and sisters, uh, for instance, um, to feel that mom or dad would certainly not have wanted something or would have definitely wanted something. I know when my own mother passed, you know, my sister was, I think we should do this. And, you know, I was like, I think we need to do that. And the boys were, well, don't you think we should do the other thing? Pre-planning can avoid those types of conflicts, especially if mom and dad have made the decisions. If that burden can be lifted, then, you know, the loved ones can be about celebrating life. I had time to grieve loss of my husband and just you know, set back, like I said, around the kitchen table and enjoy the family and friends and the stories you always talk about. I feel as if um, everyone would want to be remembered a certain way and it's very difficult to even think about how you want to be remembered. But if we ask them, how would you like to be remembered? What do you want to tell your children? What would you want them to know about how much you love them, about how much they touched your life and how much they filled your life full of joy every single day? We were able to have a more open discussion about what they're really feeling and what they really want. Uh, they had a couple children and you know we could start talking more about what we could do to help them in the ceremonies, you know, to make them be included in it. We have people come in all the time and say, oh, we had the best time prearranging our funeral. It was so much fun. We really enjoyed it and we're really glad that we took care of it. Personally, I felt it was such an easy experience for myself and actually it was a happy experience for, for me. There's a lot of laughter, there's, there's stories being shared, there's, there's just a whole different mindset. They're more free to, because they're not dealing with that loss right up front. And uh, even if there was crying and sorrow because of what they were doing and how they were going about things and pre-planning, even though they were pre-planning a funeral, it was a very healthy kind of uh, kind of uh, emotional conversation. There was no rush, there was no pressure. She explained everything. We talked more about my mom and her life than we did about her death. And my mother was so happy to have done that.
I think the biggest benefit is that the customer who comes in to prearrange their funeral gets to decide and select what they want for a funeral. It was very important for her to choose because when she had to make the choice for my father, she always wondered if that's what he would have wanted. When we get to the end of our life, we must want to tie our um, all the little loose pieces together too, and I think it's comforting to people to know that they've taken care of that. And to me, that's always a joyful thing, and so we wanted to make sure there were certain hymns and music that we really liked that also would make other people leave feeling the joy. Survivors may not really truly recognize the importance um, of that gift that's being given to them, possibly until years in, in the future. The most unselfish gift that someone can give to their family is to plan in advance. It's a gift of pure love. It's a gift of considerate behavior. It's a considerate gift forever to hold and to hold dear to know that mom and dad took care of everything in the way that they would want to see it be handled. Mother gave us a great gift by, you know, planning hers, paying for it. Uh, not that we wouldn't have been happy to pay for it, but we didn't have to. So it really was a gift she gave us. Probably the last best gift you can give your children is a prearranged funeral. We take care of marriages, we do, we plan for a childbirth, graduation, and you know, we often say, why not plan for the inevitable? It's like planning your retirement. You know, everyone should start early in life, you know, saving and planning for the retirement, and this is just one more piece. You know, you're planning what you're going to do, where you're going to go, what activities you're looking forward to, but you also need to plan for there's going to be an end. And you want to make that as easy for your family and your spouse as possible. I think people just are, are realizing more and more um, the value of getting things done in advance like this, just, just as they do their wills, their power of attorney papers, their living wills and all this. Get everything in place, they get this in place also. I think people prearrange or should prearrange because it makes financial sense. It makes emotional sense for your family, and it's just a good thing to do.